I've um, put two layers of PVA glue around the edges of wherever I'm going to stick the covering to. Um, with the PVA glue, um, so I read in the technical spec, I believe it melts at 103 Celsius. Um, so with my digital iron, so if you can see that, start, I've turned it on, starting to get to temperature. Um, so I set this at 105. Also read up about the acetate lining. I think it's got a melting point at 230 Celsius. So it, it shouldn't melt the actual fabric at all. It should hopefully just heat it up and melt the, the glue and then bind it. We'll see how we go. Well, there we go, ready to go. And you notice that's flashing. So it's just going on and off to actually maintain the heat, which is great. Uh, compared to the old one, where I actually did some temperature settings, had the old mechanical heating switch and it would actually fluctuate probably about 10 to 20 Celsius. So it's, it's a lot better. Now let's give it a go, see how we go. So I actually cut out two, two panels, I'm going to go outside. Uh, one thing I noticed, uh, I've got, I got the material and it was actually folded, it wasn't rolled up. Um, so I've ironed it down, trying to get the creases out, but what I've done is I actually unfolded it and I had a couple of um, uh, sort of aluminium pipes from old blinds that I had so I've actually rolled up the fabric on those to actually on a long-term view to actually get rid of these creases so it makes, makes a bit more here so I won't have to well you'll get a better finish because you won't have these creases in them okay so let's have a go let's see if this so I'll start tacking let's have and tack it Stack there. So, uh, so I did that. With the oh, no, it didn't take it very well, did it? Didn't put much pressure on it there at all. Let's see, I'll give it a go. What I might do it. So it's actually 103. I might. Set this up a little bit more. I'll do 110. See how that goes. Maybe a little bit warmer. I also talked to one another builder. He said what you can actually do is put the PV on wet and put the uh, fabric on, and then you actually pin it all down. Then when it dries, and you unpin it, and take it off that way. And also for with this lining too, once you tack it and then cut it back, then you put the other side, the overlapping, well, the, this is not going to have the glue on the on the overlap side. So I guess once we all tack it down and cut it back, then I'll have to put actually a lot of layer of glue on the fabric. So when I lay the second one on, I like it's got something to bind to. That's it, 108. And also with the glue, I actually applied about six weeks ago, but that shouldn't matter, the time difference. But no, it's not a very good bond, is it? I'm oh, very disappointed. Let's keep going. Oh, reading about 113 so it's 10 above the melting point so it's a 
have that cool down. Yeah, it's not that hot. Try it on this side. So it sounds like the thing here. Tuck it down. And anything with this way, it's it's a, a slow process using PVA glue. It's cheap. So, so it's just not holding it at all. No, no stuff at all. But what I'll do is let's have a look. Uh, actually, where I've been trying to glue it. No, it's got plenty there. So it's actually taken that off a little bit, so I don't just glue it. Yeah. What I might do is try the other step, is I'll actually put the PVO glue on, then I'll put that on and actually I'll, I'll put uh, pins in it and see how it goes. Okay, so I applied it wet, and yeah, that was a way better way to do it. Um, see, so it actually, there's only a few I suppose creases you could say. Uh, but remember this is a test run. I'll do it. One thing I found when it's wet, actually um, when you apply it actually seeps through the cloth a little bit. So you can just use, just use your palm um, or the finger to actually smooth it down and lock it on. And also you've got an opportunity to actually go around the edges here, you can actually get rid of most of these little little creases. Oh, no, no, that works really well. I like that, and and I think it's, it's come out taut enough. And then that's the one style wing den, and this one's the solid one. So yeah, what I'll do is um, wait till the glue dries, the glue dries, and then I'll trim it back, and I'll actually um, I'll I'll show you how I did it did it with the next shape. So it's been about uh, one and a half hour since I glued it. So what I'm going to do is now do the trimming. So I've got... I'll try these two out. That's a, a new blade and scissors. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I've seen YouTube video of people that actually cut the material out the size. I'm not really one of those people. I just put excess on then trim off. Just be quicker that way. Okay, so the pins. Where should we start? I'll start this end. This is the, the end of my part. So I'm just going to use a knife in here to trim the excess. Uh, pull this off a bit. So, so I don't move too much on. I suppose that the, the, the glue is not fully set yet. Being PVA, it's a bit. 24 hours, let's say. Let's have a look. And this will say just a test piece. So. Yeah. 
just going to run this down. Yeah. I'll use my finger to do the engage. Let's see how that goes. Oh, well, has, the glue hasn't got stuck, but um, I'm actually going to be pieing. I've got a bit of glue there, so I'll just make sure that's I've got enough inside there. And also, apparently, with when you put the dope on, um, you can actually sand it down, so it's just very thin, so it's unlikely to see any of the overlapping. There we go. Now. Show you. So is that a crease on this corner? Oh, this. Got a bit excess. And then let's split the other side. I'll just get this down. Cause that's a, a solid piece. trailing it so I just want that's even to the side there. And some glue did overlap so I'm just pulling that you see that that's overlapped on wood so I'm just drawing it some gluey bits. Let's see that on oh, that. So I'll have to be careful next time. Uh, make sure it's in not so not so much glue. Now there's a few creases here. A big crease there. So what I'm gonna do here. So I'll never be able to shrink it down. So let's in here. Let's cut, Let's cut it. And so what I'll do is I'll fold it in. It's a bit excess. Cut it. Um, so when I get the glue, I'll push it in a minute. Shell. Fix those bits up. Okay, here you got some some glue build up there. If I was going to do it properly, what I'd do is just sand that back a bit and. Some creases and stuff, so I'll do is I'll cut that in there. I'll give me some leverage to fold it back over. 
Okay, and that's that done. Okay, so what we'll do is glue this side up. Yeah, so I'll do this one first. The only thing is, if I move it on here, someone have to actually, someone want to do the knife to double cut it there, It'd lose some strength, I suppose. Um, If have a straight edge here, I suppose I could glue it there, but then I wouldn't do these edges here, so I'll actually I'll do it over. Let's see if that goes. Anyway, it's a test. Let's have it. Let's play. Sheet, just put some. I haven't been sparing with this, I've been quite using quite a bit. So, like this part here, set that edge up. I might do this. No, oh, that's right. I'll put a little bit extra here. Well, I'll put it on and I'll fold it back. That should do the edges. Okay. Rubbing it in, you can feel the glue coming through the cloth. So it's penetrating more. Oops. So what I'm going to do is not going to pin this down and see how I go with that, see how it works. And before I did the front, the other side, the front back, then to the sides. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do the sides and do this one last. So, this here. Apparently putting on the dope will stretch the cloth, make it tighter. But I've heard what you need to do is make, try to get it nice and tight beforehand. I guess don't assume it's going to do a great job. And with the doping, um, it's actually, they say use well ventilated airspace. Well, it's winter here at the moment. 
So what I shall do is I'll apply the dope to the frame, I'll do it in a video, and then I'll go put the part out in the garden shed. Okay, so that has worked out well, so it feels glued. So I have pinned it, so it's actually... I'm happy with that. There it is. Rubbing some... Like that. So, the last bit. So doing it this way, it's, I'd say it's preferable in the other way that they said. Which is, put two coats on and use the iron. And maybe you get a fin finish, I'm not sure. Or maybe I left it too long, maybe put two coats on. It usually dries about half an hour, so you can put two coat, you know, Put a coat on half an hour, put that a coat on, then let it dry for a little while, and then do it. What I did is I put the two coats on, but then uh, due to other commitments, I had to leave it for about six weeks. So, I don't know. Okay, that's done. Yeah. Happy with that, it's nice and taut. That's glued. Apparently with the dope is a glue itself, you can actually use that as a glue. There you go. See that? I can't see what I'm doing. So, there you go. So I've done that side. It's a little bit of a crease there. But well. A good for test for the, the dope. And I've got good things. So I'll leave that dry. And I'll come back and then um, trim it. And I'll probably, however I trim those few creases, anything left, then I'll actually apply a bit more, then rub it, rub the, try to rub the creases out.